what it do <laughs> um i am back with another video so this video is going to be the first video of my um healthy long hair natural hair no my natural healthy long hair journey so i am trying to um do better with my hair and i want my hair to grow healthy and grow longer but of course before your hair is gets long it needs to become healthy in order for it to grow so here i have came to the conclusion that i'm going to try to be consistent with everything as far as um my health my wealth and my appearance um, I do good when it comes to like, you know, outfits and stuff like that, but when it comes to my natural hair, um, I am consistent, like I make sure it's washed, I deep condition it when it's time to deep condition, things like that, but I just want to have like a regimen, stick to the regimen. I want to just, you know, be more attentive to it. Um, I have been wearing like wigs for like the last couple of weeks so I just want to give my hair a break and because it's like getting colder out I don't want to straighten it yet but um I do want to make sure that it's preparing to be straightened soon um so right now I have a wig on this is a wig that I made this hair is by Unice hair I absolutely love this hair um but it's time y'all my scalp oh my goodness it's itching so bad like it's itching so bad so today i'm gonna take you all with me through this whole process so this is like the journey the beginning of healthy natural hair journey um my hair is in a mix of like 3b 4c hair like the middle of my hair and the back of my hair is like a little bit more curlier than the front of my hair so like my hair is like it's different textures all over um you did not know i did cut my hair some um into a shape so like the back of my hair is really short and then the middle the front of my hair is really long and then the middle is just a middle length um but it's cut like in a diva cut so it's kind of like it's even but then at the same time like it's it has a shape um, so I just want to grow my hair out. I want to allow it to just grow to its, you know, potential length. Um, and that I don't know. So I'm not going to cut it. I'm not going to do all of that. I'm just going to like cut my ends. Um, come up with the regimen. Like how many days should I wash a week? How many days should I deep condition it? Deep condition it like a month. Um, have oil treatments, things like that. So I want to come up with that. And also I'm going to like try to use the same products all the time um as being natural it's hard to like kind of figure out what works for your hair um and then once you figure that out you want to move on to something else or try another product that it maybe just came out or something that you heard about and then you try to add that to your um to your stash but um like my mom she's a product junkie you guys like if i need to go to the beauty supply store i can just go right at home and open up that bathroom closet and it's so many products and so i just want to stick to like the main products so right now um all right so lately um i have most of Cantu's hair products now the Cantu leave-in conditioner i really love because of the consistency i can tell that my hair really loves a heavy consistency um based product but um as for right now what I have collected of Kensu is, and I have one more. So I have the leave-in um, conditioner, and I don't have it right now. So my friend is using it, but um, I will be getting it this evening. So I have that, and then I have the Kensu um, cream shampoo. Then I just bought the hydrating cream conditioner. Um, I have like the next day curl, um, what? Curl revitalize. I don't know if I said that right. And then I just bought the stay glue gel because my hair, hmm, when I do like a wash and go, I haven't did a twist out in so long. I normally do wash and goes so like it looks good. Then when I go outside, it gets a little frizzy. Then like it doesn't really last. So I got this to add on top. Of like my gelling products and then I have the deep treatment mask 
So I'm going to be using all of these products today. Um, so for my oils, I have avocado oil. I just got some black castor oil. And then I also have some vitamin E oil. So these are the oils that I will be using. I'm going to um, just get in the shower, show you all what I'm going to do with my hair and stuff like that. And um, then I'll be, you know, let's do this. I don't know how I'm going to style my hair. I might just put it in a twist. I don't know. Um, I'm really excited, actually. So I'm just going to, after I do my hair and everything, I'm going to write down everything that um, I did. And I'm going to schedule everything. And that's how I'm going to continue my regimen. That's how my hair is going to um, get used to, like, a schedule. Um, and then I also got some black dye because... I like my hair jet black, so I'm gonna see how it looks right now. If it's like dark enough for me, I'll be good because sometimes like with my natural hair, it can look kind of ashed out because my hair, is, my original color is sandy brown and so I don't really like it. It just makes me look young or something like that. But um, if it doesn't look ashy or anything like that, I'm just gonna leave it alone. But after I do all of these steps, I might go back and dye my hair maybe like, later on in the week or something like that but i have to dye my hair like that's the only way really that you can really see i don't know i just love jet black hair anyway but i'm ready y'all ready let's get to this video to my natural hair dirty healthy hair dirty i can't wait i hope my hair grows <laughs> Go. All right, guys. So first and foremost, I want to say I will be making the most ugliest faces when I when I'll be um, washing my hair. Um, I don't understand. Like it's ugly. But what you just see me do was just take off my wig cap. The wig cap had foundation on it, and of course the foundation sinks through the cap. So at this point, you just want to see me take out my cornrows, and then I'm going to twist my hair into some twists, um, and then shampoo my roots. Now I do not shampoo my, um, I used to shampoo my entire head, but I feel like it strips your hair. Um, so to just avoid that, you just wanna just put um, shampoo on your roots. always good to section out your hair um just to it just helps with make sure that you're getting your entire head and you're not missing anything but also it just makes it easier to manage <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is take the um, conditioner and what I'm gonna do is first put it all over my head and then the next thing you're gonna see me do is retwist um, the twist that's already in my head and I'm just going to apply conditioner to each twist.
you guys this does uh, feel like a long process because it is a long process but like you know sometimes we be so quick to do our hair but our hair doesn't get what it needs so I really took my time and actually um, did this so even those twists I ended up twisting them into smaller pieces so um, it took me a while but my hair my hair felt really good out there okay guys so after I retwisted my twist with the conditioner I'm going to go ahead and put um well, just deep conditioning for about 45 minutes to an hour. So what I did was take a shower cap and put it on my head. And then I think I put a t-shirt and I just tied it around my head. And so I just kept it like that um, for about 45 minutes to an hour. you guys the, how much hair came out my um, hair so this is what came out this now two things my hair sheds either when it's dry and then weather change so because it's coming from summer to fall my hair tends to shed a lot so um but you know look at it it's just in like look like my hair here is coming out you know what i mean like am i becoming bald somewhere like i don't know but anyway i'll check it out when i wash my condition out but anyway this is what it looks like right now um and that's why it's good to keep your hair moisturized especially when it's cold out because i don't know about you but my hair sheds a lot so um yeah but we're going to try to decrease this amount as time goes on because I want to continue to do my hair and don't rush it, just do it. So yeah, so I have on a cap as you all saw with um, this t-shirt just to, you know, kind of soak in some more body heat. But yeah, I have how many minutes? I have 34 minutes left. Um, 34 minutes left to wash this out. After I wash this out, I'm going to do my mask. I'm going to do the deep treatment mask. And then I'm going to add oils. I was going to like heat it up a little bit, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to, hmm, wait, let me see. Do I want to do that? Yeah, maybe I'm going to heat up a little bit of oil. So I'm going to do this oil and the avocado oil. I was going to do the vitamin E oil, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't know because my scalp was really itching, and I don't know because of this. So I'm just gonna hold off on this and just just see because I know with this you're supposed to wash it out. <laughs> um, maybe I'll put a little bit on my hair and not my scalp, and then just wash it out. Cause I'll just put this on my scalp if I feel like my scalp is dry, and then I'll just leave it in. But I think you're supposed to wash it out, and that's probably why I'm not. Um, Roots be itching so much. And then left I have is my leave-in conditioner um, cream. And so I'm going to use this as I style my hair. But yeah, you guys, the process is long. But if you want, you know, healthy hair and uh, growth, then you're going to do whatever it takes, right? So, yeah. But I'm about to just chill out and, yeah, probably finish eating my food because... Your girl. Hi right, y'all, so I am uh, back and it's been 45 minutes, probably a little bit more because I was um, transferring some files to my um, computer. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair out. Like, my hair is so small right now. But I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair out and then I'm gonna start the oil process, but before I do that, I'm gonna yeah, I'm just gonna wash it out and then do it. So, what I'm gonna do is um, what I'm gonna do is 
go ahead and heat up my oils and then I'll come back. my deep treatment mask If you want to see the results of my deep conditioning mask treatment, please watch my next video. In my next video, I also did a three strand twist tutorial, so watch out for that. See you soon! Bye!